Her first fish on, please be a... No, it's a spotted bass. That's a fish, though. It's a smallmouth. It's a smallmouth. Not bad. Better than a spotted bass. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty one. <laughs> nice fish. Got another one? Man, you're out fishing me. That's sad, I ain't got a dang thing. It's another, now that's a spotted bass that time. It might be a real large mouth, it's hard to tell from here. Looks like a large mouth. Mm -hmm. Man, I guess the green's working better than the chartreuse. I don't know. deal is there. The camera off so I save some battery and uh, as soon as I walked away she goes hey hey fish and she got into one. She's beat me three to nothing. She's caught a small mouth and two large mouth. That's another true large mouth not a spotted bass. She's caught three fish to buy nothing. So she is whipping me. She's whipping my butt. God. Yeah. All right, folks, nice little large mouth. I don't know what the deal is. Her green worm, I always used to make fun of it, but she's, ouch. God, he rammed my shins, my ankle. Ouch. She's whipping my butt with it, so. Yeah, see, I wasn't getting nothing on that crawdad. If you caught three fish on a twister tail, I think I'm sticking with it, too. Once we get to the right hole and they get in the mood, we'll do all right. like a spotted bass or large mouth if this is a spotted bass yep little guy about nine inches oh I got two in a row folks yes this one's a little bigger oh and he got off Man, I've had more get off today than stay hooked. It don't make no sense. Now nothing. I probably done spooked them. Now I'm hung up. Gosh dang it. There was a lot of them hiding in this tree over here. I was almost two for two and catching up to her. And that had to happen. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Oh. Yes, I caught him out of the tree. Man. I was standing right in front of the tree and caught him. I was vertical jigging. It's a nice spotted bass there, folks. Yes. Vertical Oh, he broke my dang line. Whoa. Ah. Vertical jigging. What do you know about that? What do you know? <laughs> nice spotted bass, folks. Caught him vertical jigging this little tiny pothole. This, will, this creek will surprise you. Little tiny honey holes. I'm switching to an eighth ounce anyway. I had to reel that one in too fast. Because it's a quarter ounce. I want a white, but I want it to be an eighth ounce. feet of this off. I'm trying a triple ripple grub this time with a pink one eighth ounce jig head. The quarter ounce is just too heavy because it's only four foot deep in these holes and uh, just you had to keep it off the head to hold your rod tip way up too high. This will be more, a better approach. <laughs> I probably won't get one anymore. That's, I'm sure that spooked them. They're hiding in that tree root. I got him fishing like this, straight up and down. I was standing right here, and then I just would go like this, and he came out of there. And it was a—it looked really big when he hit it. It was neat. We would have been way better off parking right here. Okay, we definitely scared them now because I moved the brush. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Crappie. <laughs> Alright folks, I just pulled a crappie out of this tree. He's a little guy, but hey, I just moved the whole brush pile because I was hung on it. And I was like, oh, they're scared now for sure. In the next cast, I get this guy. The small one, he's only about six inches. But hey, it's a different species. Wow. That is awesome. Nether crappie. Nether crappie. Oh. oh. I seen him come out. I could tell us what it was. This is amazing. See, that lets you know there is a lot of crappie in this river, just you don't ever see them because they're hiding. Well, uh, my camera was off, but I just had a good, this was a fun fish to catch. I just caught another spotted bass, little three foot deep hole. I wish you could have seen the fight though. It, I, it was one of those that you see come out and attack it because the water's so clear. That's what made it so fun. That's probably about the only fish in this hole. I'm having a lot better luck since I switched to white instead of chartreuse. And the crawdad wasn't working at all.
This ain't deep enough for walleye though. Go up one more hole. We'll go up one more. We find that deep hole I'm talking about with all the boulders. So I'm starting to see all the rocks now. Orange sunfish, another species to the list. It's a beauty. Little guy, but oh, well. Another bass. Spotted bass. Small guy. I guess we should have went down river, huh? We just ain't getting the kind other kinds up here. Now usually you can. But probably what it is it's so low because of the drought that they're Focused on them down river holes. Spotted bass or smallmouth? Huh? Spotted bass. Not a bad one though. Good job. Well, we caught a lot of bass, if nothing else. I'll go to the one after this tree and that's it. Hoping that, I was hoping to find something 10 foot deep with a big drop off, but there ain't nothing. Sucks. If I would have known this, I wouldn't have come up here. Nothing. Nothing deep enough. It's too shallow. Spotted bass. Another one. This was a, This one is worthy of an aquarium. Good home for him. I want it. The nineties. Of course that was probably up here because of the floods. Oh man, I just caught a spotted bass and there was a smallmouth chasing him. So I know there's a smallmouth down in this log too. A little spotted bass again, aquarium one. 
but there was about a pound smallmouth following him in because he was curious, so might be able to get him. If I get my tail bitten off, I am screwed. I left my tackle back there because I wanted to rush up here. So I cannot get hung up and I cannot get my tail bit off. Or I'm pretty much done for. Oh, and he tumped it a little bit. I don't know if that was him.